Ooh, all right, guys, what's up? <laughs> the sun is. I got like 30 minutes to fish Savannah before the sun sets. Yeah, maybe 45, maybe even an hour if I stay a little after. And I haven't posted a vlog in like two weeks. It's upsetting. I have a lot of footage to edit, and I've just been slacking. I've been editing a lot of fitness videos for different people I've been filming for. And so I just put it on the back burner, which is a bummer. I'm staying on top of Instagram, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description. But at least you can keep up with me somewhat on there because I try to make at least a post a day but I want to hit these juicy little ponds with a jig I just set up with a, a nice swim bait trailer I don't expect to catch a big fish on it uh, even though it's a big presentation just because there's usually smaller ones in this body right here and that body right there which is all really connected around this main building but uh, if I don't link up with one in like the first 20 minutes then I'm gonna go to the back pond which we know there's big fish at and just give it a, uh, a shot back there I usually throw black and blue or shad colored baits in that area because it's more murky and this is a natural color that's why I want to try it here and just see if we don't get a bite right off the bat and then we may switch locations if not okie dokie where is it at there's what we need and uh, I wonder if I should take the wacky rig too, just in case. I wonder if I should have two setups. Nah. I might just take it with us. It's probably a good idea. Yes. Two Sankos. One that's good and one that's starting to deteriorate. Perfect. Let's just roll with that right there. Speaking of roll, are we rolling? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yep. Something's going on right here, but the fact that I saw that means I probably spooked it and it might not bite even if it was hanging around over here. So let's throw this swim jig. Oh yeah, swim jiggy jiggy. And I'm using a heavier setup than I would normally use for something like this. Uh, I had this jig, hold up, let me let this plane pass actually, a little noisy. Okay, I think he's gone far enough now. Um, I had this jig just set up for bottom fishing with a creature bait, and so I was using my more stout rod. This is the new Lunkers one I bought, 7.6 heavy, fast. Uh, so, you know, ideally for something swimming like this, I'd probably just use my 7.2 medium heavies. I don't have like a dedicated crankbait rod, like something that's medium heavy or a uh, or like heavy but with a softer tip, a slow tip I guess you could call it. So I just uh, swapped the creature bait for this swim bait trailer and so the rod's a little heavy for this setup but you know it'll probably be okay. I just want something to yank this thing. And the line is also 17 pounds so something more like what I might use for a jig in most cases ripping through some cover and when you're swimming I could be just fine with something like 12 pound line but again I just used the setup the jig was already on, so we're just we're just hunting for a bite right now. And I would say that covers this corner. I want to go out where it's a little deeper, so we're gonna just walk along the bank here for a second or two. Okay, I always like to stop at this little spot for all you Savannah Fisher men and women, and uh, just cast along the back of these docks right here, and whoop right there on the edge that's perfect let him sink just a little bit all right let's bring him in and uh, just give this spot a little shot before I head out to the main deeper area I usually have luck here with something on the bottom so I'm definitely going to give the wacky rig a try here before I move on I'm just gonna swim this thing for a minute because the goal is to catch something on this first I would much rather get a fish on this something I've never used before uh, which I may or may not have explained, it's in my Instagram post, but I've never used, here's the setup. I've never used a, a jig. This is more of a swim style jig, I think, with the way the head's shaped and how I've cut the skirt and kind of trimmed it down, uh, make it a little more swimmy-like. Um, needless to say, I put this, I think it's called a paddle tail swim bait on there, which, you know, you could just fish this swim bait by itself with like a weighted belly hook, and I've done that in the past. It's actually the only thing I've done with these since I've bought them but I've never thrown them on a jig. It's always been just something like the jig by itself. When I first got into jig fishing and didn't know that you could use trailers, I was just clueless, and then it started being more like creature baits or craw style baits, 
and so I've just never thrown it with anything like this. So that's why I say something new. And like I said, although it's a big presentation, I fully expect a little fish to go after this because specifically in this front pond, I've never really caught anything over two and a half or three. Maybe, maybe three, like for sure two, two and a half. So we know there's big ones in here, but they like to hide, man. They like to hide. Nice and calm, sun's about to set. We're, we're prime time. Oh, that's new. Oh, you know what, maybe it's not new, but the waterfall was either always going or I just have never been here when they turned on, but those are definitely brighter than normal. We only got so much time. Problem is, do we want to go with the... Oh, that one's torn up. He ain't gonna work. I guess we're going with the really tiny one. Finesse, finesse, finesse. See what they want today. And I'm pretty sure this is a six pound leader line. <laughs> I think this is six pound uh, fluoro or mono at the end of my 20 pound braid that I've got double uni knotted together. Let's see how long this Sanko lasts before he decides to fall off. Hopefully we can get a catch first. Let's toss them over. On this wacky rig, just because it's so light, I'm not using a weighted wacky hook. I'm just using a plain, plain Jane wacky rig hook. It's not weedless. In fact, I think it is a weedless one, but I broke the little weedless portion off because I seem to not get as good of a hookup ratio when I use the weedless ones. And I also feel like I pick up just as many weeds. Comment down below if it's the same to you. I feel like I, I just still get weeds around the hook, the eyelet or something, even using the weedless ones as often as I almost would just using the regular ones. So I don't see too much of a point in the weedless ones unless you are in a real specific type of grass that I just probably don't see often enough that would really get caught in that hook. It, it just seems better to use the, the regular wacky rig hook to me over the weedless ones in most cases. I had a dream this morning, it was like right as I was waking up that I caught an 11 pounder on a drop shot. <laughs> so, so I wanted to bring the spinning setup out today <laughs> uh, to maybe throw a drop shot, but I don't have one rigged up. So my PB is four and a half pounds, by the way. I don't know where 11 pounds came from, but that's just what it weighed when we put it on the scale. In my dream, right before I woke up. Oh, somebody's basketball. I feel like it's gonna do somebody less good in the water than out of the water. I don't have any use for it, but I'm sure the next youngster that walks by is uh, gonna be happy that I put it there. Don't fail me now. Where they at? Sun's going down. Let's give her another whirl. Ooh, she looks good. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's try the front pond. Haven't fished this one in a while. Leave that right here. I don't think they're gonna go after that in this pond. There we go. Right along the bank. That ought to be good. There we go. Get out of here. Feels good. Look at that. I told you it'd be a little guy that hit it. Yes! Monster jig! Where's the pick? Swim jig da dump dump. SD card filled up like right as I got that guy back in the water or even just before, so that was a bummer, but it's all good because now I can put this thing together quickly, upload it tonight, and just prove to you guys that I can still catch a fish because that's really all I'm after. I barely even got to use my new combo that I have been loving so much. This is the 7.6 Heavy Fast uh, Lunkers Limited Edition Defender Rod. A couple quick announcements to wrap up the video because I've been a little behind on YouTube and focused more on Instagram lately. I am now partnered on the promotional team with Wu Tungsten on their pro staff, so I get a discount off of the weights, and I'm going to be using a lot of their products in the future 
future videos, so be on the lookout for that. I'm also with Team Guggen. I have promoted that on YouTube already, if I'm not mistaken, but I use a lot of the Guggen baits. I love the Guggen baits. You'll be seeing me throw a lot more of the Guggen baits, and uh, so there's that as well. It's another deal where you can also get discounts off the baits and apparel with Guggen Squad, and uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it with the guys. You know, they've inspired me so much. It's just, it's only right to uh, maybe partner with the companies that you feel are going to benefit you and your fishing, and then also, uh, you know, the people that you, for me, look up to because they're the ones that got me into it. So, Team Guggen, Wu Tungsten, and now also Mystery Tackle Box, man. I'm super excited. They reached out to me on Instagram and they're going to start sending me the pro boxes just because I've been uh, growing my social media following and so I'm going to be on their promotional team as well. I look forward to using all the baits. Uh, a lot of the baits you've seen me throw recently have come from the boxes and you're going to see plenty more. So I love that subscription service where you can pay about 20 bucks a month and get close to 30, 40 bucks in these boxes worth of products every single month. So if you guys aren't familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, go ahead and give them a look up. I'll try and link their information down in the description below thing before we leave you guys know I'm always filming with my road video micro mic uh, tonight I'm filming with a wireless mic I'm excited yeah I watch a lot of Gary V and I'm always like man D rocks always outside of the room filming Gary V and like getting the great audio and you know wireless mics are a big deal and they're so freaking expensive so I did a bunch of research watch a bunch of videos and look at this man I got these Sennheiser wireless digitals XS wireless digitals and uh, they're 350 bucks, so they're not cheap, but you guys are gonna probably see it in some more of my like review videos, or if I do bait videos, if I do bait caster or rod and reel review videos, you know how I like to set them up in the office here. And so you're probably gonna see the wireless mic being used in those videos as opposed to the road mic. Yeah, and check it out, man, this is the setup. I'm gonna throw a picture in here real quick. Cha-ching. And so it's just, look, I got this little guy right here in my pocket. It's such a small size. It's ridiculous. It's so dope. I'm, oh, I'm just excited to use these in a lot of other video work of mine. And then I've got the transmitter right up there. Transmitter receiver or transmitter receiver? Uh, I say only 350 because if you guys have looked at wireless miking before, oh my gosh, it gets expensive and it gets expensive quick. A bit of research, Sennheiser makes uh, great quality products, but then also this just was announced. Like it's not even out on B&H, which is where I normally order all of my photos video gear still on pre-order there but I found it with a seller on Amazon that offered it for the same price no tax no shipping literally it was 349 bucks and they included a wireless battery pack because these have an internal battery as opposed to interchangeable double-a uh, or interchangeable whatever batteries you could normally put in these other wireless miking options but this has one internal battery so you do have to charge it the life is supposed to be great y'all are fishing fanatics so you could probably care less but I'm excited about it all right, the card and the camera just filled up too. I'm so behind on editing, this is ridiculous. I'm on my iPhone now. Uh, anyways guys, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, drop some comments of what you wanna see in the future videos and we'll get after it. Till then, peace out. <gasps>